Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday. Fresh back from the Thanksgiving weekend. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Happy Monday, Donna. Mariano, good to see you. Mark, Judy, look at these. Andrea, Lita, look at those. All right. All the Cyber Traders, welcome back and welcome. We have a bunch of new traders that are starting today, fresh on Monday. I'd like to thank you all. Just one very important thing I have to kind of tell everyone. Look, listen, and learn, and make sure you talk to Education Advisor so you know exactly what to expect, what we're doing. And what you're seeing right now is what we do here at CyberTrade University. You're seeing something that we're trading in pre-market. Who got a little piece of the RSLS? That's what I'm talking, pre-market, huh? Audio sounds a little scratchy. Let me lower it. Maybe it's a little loud. There we go. How about that? Is that a little better? There we go. Sound a little better? Gartha. All right, good. All right, so anyway, um, who got a little piece of this one? What a nice little mover, the RSLS. So once again, early bird gets the money. And you can see right here in the pre-market, the stock had a really, really nice pop. If you got in here, you know, at the 8.30 call, everyone should have got in around 2, 2.20. Had a little bit of nice little uh, triple top right there. You could see it. Unbelievable iceberg orders over here. Look at those uh, on the matrix. Great orders everywhere. Uh, great resistance levels. Stock had a nice pop till 3. I know a lot of you are probably already done already. But, um, but the RSLS was great. But we're going to get right back to RSLS. Let's talk about what happened on Friday because didn't I tell you the day after Thanksgiving, and it's a great short day. Um, historically, I go back to my journals. If you're part of CTU for a long time, you go back to your journals. Very important you take very good notes like we teach you in class, you know, to analyze what the outcome was, how you did, and so on. You'll probably notice you done pretty well. Uh, on those days, you might have missed something probably last year, but it's part of uh, the education process of being part of CTU and be part of this team. We have to work together like a team. And one of the big ones, uh, first of all, let's, let's talk about some of the stocks that made some nice moves. Let me fix my time frame over here so we can see a little bit better. But uh, but this one just had a great, great run in the pre-market. A lot of you guys were done just trading this stock right here, TIS. Stock went from a buck sixty to two forty. Great, great move right there. Uh, the big winner, the good stocks, um, a lot of the gas stocks had some really good runners. Now, remember, we just don't day trade here. We also do some swing trading. You can see oil has been taking a huge hit, huge. And you can see right here, the stock uh, right here went from 26 to 38. And it had a really nice push early in the morning. It went from 35 to four, uh, 37, which wasn't bad. And then the, uh, was the DG? AZ was another one right there. That one just got decimated. It was a it was a five hundred dollar stock. You could see it. Great, great short on the swing trade. Which, by the way, Josh is doing. We're doing the workshop today on shorting. Now, I was just, I just had him in my office. We were going over his shorting, going over the lesson planner, and there was a couple of things I wanted him to get in into it because one of the things I felt, which is very important, it's not about the strategy of shorting. It's for you to understand what is a short and how do you get it and why does it work at some times and why it doesn't. But uh, but anyway, you could see it uh, regarding about that workshop. This was a great short on a swing trade, but on Friday it was a great great swing uh, on the long. Stock is gapped up pretty nicely right now. You can see we're 54 to 71. Great great move. Now it wasn't more of an, it was more of an ETF type of a market, but overall we had some really good moves uh, going across the board. But uh, but hopefully everyone spent a lot of money on Good Friday. I know we had our little Black Friday deal right there. You can see it. Uh, Black Friday 2018. We got some great deals on coachings. We got great deals for some introductory courses. And uh, obviously our our on-site, we ran a good promotion on that. So guys, definitely capitalize on that before it gets closed on today. Now, a couple of stocks that we want to check out going into this morning. Uh, first of all, let's get back to that R. SLS. Now you notice RSLS is starting to back off right now. Uh, you could see it's it's got more sellers out there than buyers. We got a couple of 3,900 share buyers uh, that kind of make uh, the case of why this stock is kind of holding right there at that price, right below 240. We need to keep an eye on that, but it is up 100 percent so far 89 percent it's hovering between you can see it right there on the net change right there but um this is what we do here at cyber University. great move a lot of our money most of our money is made in pre-market 
Now, another couple of other ones that made the, the watch list, ABIL, I'm going to throw this on the watch list. Um, I found this early. It got up pretty nicely, but I don't know what happened. She started back off right now, so I might just take her off. Um, I mean, it looks like we're going to have some support levels, but she she had a really nice push in the morning. I don't know what happened. She's really kind of backed off a little bit. I might put that on a scratch, but she's up about 10%. JKS is another one that's going to make the watch list. This one, it's got a nice little move. It's got a nice little Fausto flag. Uh, it's breaking higher highs. Big iceberg orders right here on the offer at 10.55 and 10.50. We want to keep an eye on that, which is obviously holding it back a little bit. But it's just up 13%, 71,000 shares already traded. So that one is moving pretty nicely. Now, um, there are a couple of ETFs that are moving too. You know, I'm not a big fan with ETFs, but listen, the market has been extremely volatile. We're going to have a higher open so far. I told you this on Friday. You guys did great last year in the market. Um, go out there and spend money, and you did. And guess what? It just wasn't us. It was the rest of the country. So whatever they're saying regarding the economy, this and that, listen, we know why the market's going down a little bit regarding about the Fed rates and everything else. But at the end of the day, everyone made money. Everyone made money, and everyone's spending money. Um, and I think it was funny, but they were talking about this big snowstorm. So they're expecting Cyber Monday should be pretty big. Obviously, people are going to be sitting on their couch, you know, and just buying stuff because they're not going anywhere. What else are they going to do? But uh, everyone's making money. Everyone's spending money, which is good for the economy, which is good for the United States, and which is good for the stock market. And you can see it. I mean, even Amazon's up pretty big. It was up like, uh, what was it, 33 points? Let me bring it up right here. Uh, yeah, it's up. Uh, yeah, it's up. Yeah, about 30, 30 points. It was up a little bit higher than that. But even though these stocks took big hits, big, big shoppings in the market. All right. So retail is doing pretty good. Now, uh, I think that's about I think that ends it. I mean, there was a couple of losers out here that took some big hits, but there were some ETFs. You can see this one. Obviously, we're not going to be trading this one. UGIZ, all these big uh, all these stocks that are in here are all obviously ETFs. TF TIS, we know why it's down because it was up big on Monday. I mean, on Friday. Um, you could see here uh, DZIZ, you know, is up. The stock, you know, obviously another ETF out there. So there are a lot of ETFs that are in there, but not really a lot of the so called stocks that we like to trade. The less expensive, less risk, more reward. Now, regarding about uh, what we have, listen, it is Monday. Uh, listen, Kids go back to school. People are stuck traveling. You know, a lot of cancellation flights. So I'm not expecting to be an exciting Monday, uh, even though the market is up a little bit big. So sometimes there's going to be a couple of good buying opportunities. Remember, um, in our, you know, one thing we do here is not just day trade. We do swing trade. And I do tell you that, you know, listen, a lot of us are crying because we could have bought something at a good price. We missed a rally. You know, if it was NVIDIA, if it was, listen, a lot of these stocks took huge hits, huge hits. Um, so, listen, it, it eventually there's, it comes to a point where you're going to get some of these buying opportunities. So you just can't always day trade. You got to do some swing trades, and, uh, you know, because you can't keep that money in there all the time. So you got to be a little diversified, but you got to be a good day trader first to understand what to put your uh, position in. So anyway, anything we're missing uh, that I did not call out? Anything I'm missing? Any other stocks? I think we got them all, right? Anybody looking at anything else? All right. So, guys, if there's nothing else that we're missing, remember, there's always a new list that's going to come out. Once the market opens up, this is just basically what we're doing so far. And uh, really, realistically, this was the only stock that we really had our big rally in pre-market. Unfortunately, we only got one stock up 100%, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, but we always find some new ones that will open up. All right. So, remember, busy, busy week this week. We got new members that have joined us. Welcome aboard. Make sure you talk to the education advisor. Hopefully you watch those videos that we told you to watch. Just look, listen, and learn. And watch and 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 remember, don't judge us on these winners. Judge us on the losers and how few we have and how we control them. That's the most important. I think that's the biggest issue a lot of people have is controlling losses. Don't worry about the winners. Winners like this take care of themselves. But we also have went we're doing a big workshop today on shorting. And also for a lot of you, um, this is the new cycle. The course is start tomorrow. Phase one starts tomorrow. So make sure you guys are registered uh, and getting it most of your time. Remember, we do the courses every single month and they start, uh, start tomorrow. Okay, guys, good luck today. Happy trading.
And uh, let's make some money going into this open, all right? And go spend some money.